Anthony! Anthony! Arrested! No! Mm-mm. Not Anthony. Not non-emotion Anthony. And it was some white powder? Is that what it was? Allegedly. Oh, Lord. Y'all, let's talk about it. Welcome back to my channel, Sass here. I'm here to do a recap of Sister Wives, which ain't gonna take long, so I thought I would throw in some news. Uh, you can't use, honey. Because, baby, this past week's of Sister Wives was boring, honey. Boring. So, I'm gonna give y'all a little mixture. For my non-Sister Wives people, y'all come back in about five to eight minutes. Trust me. It ain't gonna take long, okay? Let's talk about Sister Wise before I get into other things. And I have something to say. So, Sister Wise, honey, when I tell you, they all can't be bangers, okay? So, we have um, Christine. She is celebrating her 50 um, birthday. They're doing a little old school, you know, sock hop, you know, kind of thing. And everyone looks good, all right? She says that she feels great, okay? 50 and fabulous. She's going on. Who is this? Hello? Hello? I am calling you for the United Police Sheriff and Troopers. Listen, I'll be brief. The reason for the call is to let you know the new drive is underway in the line of duty deaths and injuries for police officers are on the rise. So anyway, so she is out there um, dating and just, you know, having fun. She wants uh, McKelty to tell the family and friends that McKelty is um, going to have, you know, twins, which will be exciting. Um, for everyone and McKelty let it be known that she told Robin and Cody First that she was having twins and what about Nelly y'all? What about Nelly? <laughs> Did y'all see that little glow on her face? How did she was full of herself? McKelty told us first what an honor What a privilege to be told first see she told me first, okay? Oh so sweet. So sweet. See, she told me first. She didn't tell her bitch mama, Christine. <laughs> she didn't say that, y'all. But you can see it on her face. Honey, she loved that she knew that before Christine did. Have you stomped your toe yet, Nelly? I'm waiting for you to stomp your toe forever. Your pinky one. On the corner of a dresser. See, that's what I want you to do for the rest of your life. Sitting up there. Isn't it precious? Isn't it precious? Shut up, girl! Shut up! But you know what? Christine is classy. Christine said, listen, okay? It's going to be many things that Robin and Cody are going to know before me. And that's fine. This is something to celebrate. Not me be bitter over. See, Christine is classy. And can I say something else about Christine? Now, apparently Christine and her husband and Janelle are on some type of cruise living their best life. And Christine said... I can show you better than I can tell you, Nelly. Honey, Christine showed up like this. I said, not the two-piece. Ah. Christine said, let me show you my abs. Okay? While you down there shopping at the JCPD outlet, Nelly. <laughs> okay? Now, there ain't nothing wrong with JCPD. I have things with JCPD. But see, Christine said... Look at this. I ain't even mad at Christine. Christine look good. So anyway, 
they're celebrating her party and you know all that then there's mary mary is with her friends and they're trying to get the b and b together all right and oh god that was so boring oh my god y'all i fast forward then she was talking about you know cody and she was like listen if cody don't want no parts of this so be it okay he ain't even worth it he ain't even worth my time mary please i i i i really move on honey okay see what christine is doing is what you need to be doing you engineer get out there get on the website get on the dating site get your back blown out then maybe you will be on the cruise in a two-piece okay show them abs out show your man out cody somewhere by the brick i bet you when cody see that picture of christine oh lord honey he got to shiver <laughs> as he should so then of course we have janelle janelle done moved into a new place okay and it's bigger it's nicer and so cody comes over and Janelle is just like, listen, I really just want him to hang up some pictures. I don't care if he comes over or not. We share a daughter. This is where Savannah is. So be it. Cody is also um, spending more time with um, Savannah. Okay. Cody says that this isn't his place. It don't feel like home. It's her place. It's not our place. Exactly right, Cody. It's her and Savannah's place. See, you have a home. See, you have said this so many times. Your home is at Robbins. That's our home. This is Janelle's home. And no, you're not going to be standing there. I mean, staying there. No, there is no reconciliation. Janelle don't want any parts of you. And it's your doing. You have completely ruined anything you can have with this woman. You have ruined your relationship with your children. That is your doing. So you wandering around aimlessly making small talk. How awkward was that? You talking about marble countertops and how they're different colors. You're talking about how big the bathroom is, how big the bedroom is, where you're not going to lay. You're talking about how, you know, everything is just awkward and how you don't know what to say about this situation and what you and Janelle are. Janelle has already said it, honey. She deems you as a friend. And it's your doing. And Janelle brought up, listen, we need to pay off Coyote Pass, okay, within this year. And he was like, yeah. He has no interest in that. Janelle said, I still want to build on it. And I want to build a big fence around it so y'all can't come anywhere near me. Janelle, honey, you're not going to build up. Like I said, Janelle, just move on. Just move. Just cut ties, honey. Just move on on which i think she has anyway okay so anyway y'all that is sister wives y'all short and sweet it was boring and we didn't find out anything new now let's talk about this arrest anthony anthony honey what was you doing halloween hmm what was you doing halloween y'all you're supposed to be trick or treating you're supposed to be sending out candy for the children, not be trying to get some booger sugar. What is happening? Now, this is according to Starcasm, and they got this information from, I believe, according to um, Amber. So, according to Vine, Sheree's Bay was booked in county jail on October the 31st. However, it looks like he was actually arrested the day before. Court records indicate Anthony is facing a charge of criminal possession of a controlled substance in the fifth degree. That is a 5D felony. Let me double check that. I'm sorry. A criminal possession of controlled substance in the fifth degree is a class D felony. That's what it is. Um... 
apparently the drug listed as cocaine hydrochloride allegedly now Anthony uh, said um, he's not guilty and the court said uh, no bail so Anthony is setting up in jail and he has his court date um, December 1st come on Anthony I need for you to get out for Christmas can you get out for Christmas Anthony what's going on are you okay? They come out, they go back in. They come out, they go back in. I did a video Monday. It's right here. And um, I spoke about um, Red's mom. Um, her being on the SOR. I said what I said. I'm not taking anything back of what I said. Now, I've had plenty of people come to me in the comments and in my DMs saying that she has went to several other bloggers talking about thank you for speaking on her, giving her, you know, a platform. Um, she's getting a reality show. Um, she's going to be making plenty of money. Ma'am, congratulations. If you are going from each platform who are only speaking of things that you've done and you feel like you are bragging or boasting about getting a reality show, about making some money, congratulations on that. If this is how you're going to get your shine, congratulations, ma'am. You will not get any shine over here. Now, to my sasters, y'all know how we roll. Y'all know how we roll. Please don't put that woman's name in my comments. Because she, too, came into my comments saying the exact same thing. And guess what I did? I removed it. Ma'am, you get no shine over here. And again, congratulations on your future endeavors. And like I said before, if you are included in the future of love after lockup and life after lockup, I will not be saying your name. To my new subscribers, welcome to the family. Y'all showed up and y'all showed out. Y'all, I am about 1,200 away from uh, 5,000 subscribers. Okay, y'all share it out. Share out all my videos because I'm trying to hit it. By December the 31st. I want 5,000 subscribers by December the 31st. And I know we all can do it. Okay. That could be my Christmas present from you all. Mm -hmm. Okay. Alright. I appreciate y'all and I love y'all. And thank y'all for the mature comments that y'all um, put in my last uh, video. I tell you, y'all are... I can't ask for better supporters. I really can't. Um, I just really appreciate y'all so much. Y'all never cease to amaze me. You know, yeah, y'all drop some tea in my DMs, but some of y'all come in my DMs and be like, Sass, how are you doing? Are you okay? You know, and y'all show me pictures of y'all's babies and grandbabies and nieces and I just appreciate y'all um, so, so, so much. Now, don't forget to hit that like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, friends.